Hey guys, I'm Yash. Today I will show you how to create your own colors and uh, also gradients. So uh, Apple do provide some basic colors. Uh, I will show you as we start coding. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, name it playing with colors. Hit next, YouTube. Uh, okay, uh, I need to name it differently. So I'll just put a two there. So next Save it wherever you want now um, Under main dot storyboard We need two things first of all a view a simple view It will be at the very bottom um, Okay, very bottom so second last so here it is and a segmented control segmented control okay first of all let's change its color so that we can see the stuff uh, and uh, let's give it a size of three you know we can give it somewhere else okay uh, select this both and let's add constraints horizontally in container now select this one let's give it 20 from top and make sure this uh, red line is selected and a fixed height and width of uh, 300 and 300 and make sure you select items of new constraints so this will adapt to the new constraints so add three constraints here we go this will be again horizontally in container and uh, let's keep it 100 from bottom and do make sure this red line is selected uh, let's give it a width of uh, 250 and height same height is okay and items of new constraints so add constraints so let's attach this both thing now control drag this this is our color view so name it color view and it's an outlet and uh, we will be uh, changing this this color view on a change of the selection of the segment so this will be an action action will be changed uh, value and the type is ui segmented control and do make sure event is value changed and connect uh, and uh, we forgot one more thing so let's go to standard editor let's name it color and uh, let's name this gradient okay so let's hop over to view controller we are done with the storyboard let's clean the code okay so first of all i'll show you how to create a normal color let's override view view did appear okay under this um let's just create a function for normal color func name it normal color uh, it will be a simple function so what we do here is let now uh as I said earlier that uh, Apple provides its predefined colors so you can type in UI color this is the class and press dot now these are the options which uh, Apple provides okay it's black blue brown and all that stuff but it's very limited now if you want to create your own color using RGB so that is what I'm going to show you remove this dot and hit bracket now these are the couple of ways in which you can create a UI color so let's choose this one which is red green blue and alpha alpha is the transparency so hit enter now here i have a cool website which is rapidtables.com and it is a great website for choosing colors so here i have already selected a light blue color and which uh, has r value of 120 g of 200 and b of 246 so what we do in code is for red uh, is we saw it's 120 divide by 255 this was 200 by 255 and this will be 246 by 255 and alpha will be 1.0 uh, let's check it again so we are sure 120 200 246 yeah so 246 so we are good to go now here is the okay let's change it to light blue light blue okay 
now we just need to change the background color of the color view so that's very simple color view dot background color is equal to light blue simple okay so under view uh, okay this is very big uh, under view did appear just uh, type the function name which is normal color and uh, as soon as we load it will be loaded with the this color okay so under changed value now this is the segmented control which we had okay so let's have a if condition sender which is a segmented control dot uh, selected segment index is equal to equal to zero this means that if this first segment is selected we will be performing the same function which is normal color okay so let's uh, run the app so we can see this is a really easy way of creating normal colors with RGB values. So here it is running. So it already is loaded with the light blue color. So as soon as we add gradient, we will see the difference. Uh, okay, so let's hop over to this thing else. Now we will be performing gradient effect. So see there are three ways of creating a gradient effect okay first is uh, you get it created by some advanced photoshopper or some image guy or artist and uh, use it as an image and second is using core graphics which is a really advanced topic not tough but a trickier one now the method which i will be showing you is very simple which is uh, creating a new layer over our uh, present layer using ca gradient layer okay so let's get started let gradient is equal to ca gradient layer okay so here we have it so first we need to give it a frame which will be gradient dot frame will be a uh, full of our color view so color view dot bounds okay cool and uh, see we need to create a gradient so we need colors simple right gradient dot colors which is a collection of array which is collection of which is an array of any objects <laughs> array is a collection so let's create an array let's use color ui color dot uh, red dot cg color don't forget to add c dot cg color because it will not prompt for an error and your gradient won't work so do add it dot cg color now let's use a yellow color yellow looks good dot cg color now the final step is to add it to the layer so it will be color layer color view dot layer dot add sub layer now our sub layer is gradient okay bam we are good to go let's run running app is running so here we have it this is the gradient effect now uh, here we have a problem uh, when we select color it's not uh, changing the layer so let's remove the layer when we select color okay so i don't know how to do that uh, let's find it mm, okay here we can do it so let's try color view dot layer dot sub layers Okay, this will be a collection of CA layers. So all sub layers will be selected. Sub layers dot remove. Okay, okay, here we have it. So remove all, I think this should work. So let's run the app. Okay, so it's working. So this is how you create color and a gradient color. And one more thing to the gradient layer. Uh, gradient color gradient type so, uh, you can add location to it from where the gradient starts from where each color starts okay so it will be gradient dot locations and this will correspond to the above uh, this color thing color array so if i type in 0 0.55 this will correspond to red color okay and you can add comma and uh, give another value for yellow so let's run it for 0 0.55 
so here we have it so this is 0 0.55 uh, to see a major difference let's change it to 9 uh, 8 5 okay so you will see there is much of a red and a yellow is very less so here we have it guys as you see red is much more so that's how you create colors and gradient effects so thank you guys keep watching if you like my videos don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe thank you